hey guys welcome back to the channel I trust you're doing well and welcome to the second installment of the beauty skin review basically beauty and skincare review um, I did the first one a while back and from that one I did say that I am going to do uh, regular beauty reviews from time to time just to let you know how I get on with all the products that you see on my Instagram page with all the products that you see on my blog and things like that I did want to do proper beauty reviews because it's one thing to see the haul and then not see how someone fares on with a particular product that you may be interested in buying or getting so if you would like to see what I'll be reviewing in this beauty review then please do keep watching so the first product is one that I have probably mentioned or put up a picture of on my social media and things like that, but I don't ever really remember reviewing this. And this is the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water for dry and sensitive skin. Now I've been using this for a long time. I don't want to lie. I think this is the third bottle of this and the Micellar Wipes are a religious staple in my... Um, bathroom to remove my makeup I absolutely love it this I will go in with on days where I feel like I've had a really like a crap ton of makeup on my face and I feel like okay I need I need more than just the wipes and I love this as um, a first cleansing step and what I do is I just put this on a cotton pad and then remove my makeup that way with this I love this micellar water the oil um, oil infused shouldn't scare you off if you're somebody who's oily it is not oily at all it doesn't leave you greasy you remove it it's got a very very nice scent to it as well much like the um, micellar wipes oh my gosh they smell so nice the oil infused ones but this is great especially when it comes to removing makeup and like waterproof makeup as well it cleanses your face so so nicely and the oil the little bit of oil you kind of have to shake it up before you use it the little bit of oil that's in there helps with removing your makeup much easier and something that you may have seen on my Instagram uh, page are the Dove Derma Spa goodies body care goodies and the first one which I am literally almost out of like literally almost out of is the Derma Spa Cashmere Comfort Rich Hand Treatment which looks like this I mentioned them in a body care haul that I put up not a, well quite a while ago I love this hand cream it is so nice it sits next to my bedside table and I apply this on every night after I've come out of the bathroom from doing my um, makeup uh, well removal routine and brushing my teeth and doing that whole shebang before I get into bed I pump a little bit of this it is so nice it smells amazing it's hydrating it is not too thick which is something I love I'm actually gonna put on some now because I just wiped my hands with a facial wipe but it's not too thick the product is really really nice it just quickly seeps into your skin but it does not leave your hands feeling dry or looking dry or feeling too greasy because some um some hand uh what's this hand creams can do that they can leave your skin feeling really really greasy this does not do that it's so wonderful the price sucks i'm not gonna lie the price really really sucks these are quite expensive the derma spa range is quite expensive but the prices are not that great and the cashmere comfort cocooning body lotion is what I'm currently using I've been using it for a little bit now along with the Palmer's um, it's a Palmer's uh, daily skin therapy I switch between the two on a daily basis this is nice the only thing is I feel like moving into winter my skin is a little bit drier and this is slightly as well on the lighter side I think if you had the um, yeah this is slightly on the lighter side if you had the body butter which is something that I have from this derma spa range I think I'll like that a little bit more in the winter time uh, it does moisturize it does do what it's meant to do um, but for me I just I just feel like I needed something a little bit thicker so another face moisturizer that I've been trying out in silence is the um, Avin fluid mattifying fluid which is a hydrant I love this I love this if you follow the channel or if you follow my Instagram page quite a lot you know that I love Clinique products I switch between this one and the hydrating gel that I normally use the yellow one from Clinique 
on a daily basis because I like to keep my skin guessing. Sometimes when I've been using the hydrating gel for a long time, it just doesn't seem to be making much of a difference on my skin. So I switched to using this and I've been using it for the past month. It is really good. I especially love using this in the morning because it is a mattifying fluid. So after you apply it onto your skin, it leaves your skin feeling tacky to the touch. Like if you literally do this, you can feel like it's it's got a little bit of a stick to it, which is great when it comes to applying makeup because the makeup like sits on the face. Um, absolutely love this. I'm a very, very big fan of this. If you're looking for a mid-range skincare brand of products, then definitely try a vent. But this is really, really good. I've been so impressed with this and I find myself reaching for this more than I do the clinic one, especially in the morning when I know that I'm gonna put makeup on because I'm going to work and things like that. But I'm a very, very big fan, love this. One thing that I have, you may have seen me mention or speak about on the channel or show you are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Now. I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love them because the pigmentation is absolutely awesome. However, however, it is sticky. Now, I'm wearing a liquid lipstick right now. I'll show you, it's actually one of my favorite liquid lipsticks at the moment. I'm wearing a li liquid lipstick right now. However, this is also a liquid lipstick. It is so sticky, like when you put it on and you keep doing this, Throughout the day, it literally your lips literally glue together. They stick together, which is something that I am not a fan of. I do not like sticky lips. I feel like, okay, it's, it's just, mm, it's perfect if only it were not sticky. Aside from the fact that it is sticky and when it fades, it doesn't really fade. It's, it fades very flaky and um, it's sort of like flaky and crusty, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, aside from that, I think it's great, but for me, those are big things that I look out for when I'm choosing a liquid lipstick. So I've realized that ever since I did get them, I got them, yes, it doesn't budge, which is a, an honest truth, but ever having since used them ever since, I just feel like that's the one thing that makes me not reach for it as often as I'd like to because it is really very very sticky and i'm not a big fan of that but aside from that they're great if you're looking for a liquid lipstick on the market and you can uh, that is reasonably priced and you can contend with sticky lips then you should definitely get these and then uh, things that i have accumulated over the past couple of months are a lot of ColourPop uh, goodies and i'm currently expecting some lippies sticks to come through but i wanted to talk to you about the ColourPop. um eyeshadows and these are the super shock shadows they are wonderful if i am to tell you anything about ColourPop, get the shadows the prices for ColourPop are amazing they're great i recently bought the polite af palette which palette collection I recently bought the Polite AF collection and it's great it's got basically the super shock shadows and um it's the ultra glitter ones in the Polite AF palette and they are amazing. One of my favorite colors, which is like really messed up right now, I can't even turn it too much because it's gonna fall out, is uh, Sequin, which is Sequin, Sequin. It is one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow colors and that's the one that I use in my ColourPop video. Love these, absolutely great. The moussey texture was a little bit uh, of um, surprise when I started using it, but I absolutely love them. They're easy to work with. Blendability is perfection. Pigmentation, perfection, especially with the ultra glitter ones. Wow, they will show up and it's not a lie. And then uh, the last two things that I'm going to be talking about is a foundation. Now I wanted to review this foundation along with the other one, which is the um, even perfecting foundation, but I broke it. If you're somebody who follows me on my uh, Instagram page, I once did an Insta Live, and immediately when I finished doing that Insta Live, I was walking to my room with the even perfecting foundation, and I broke it, and it broke. And I wanted to review that, uh, but essentially, I love it. The thing is, I just feel like it's, it's very slippery. It slips off my face. It literally slips off my face because it sits in the cracks 
of uh, my smile lines and my little lines here and that's the only thing I didn't quite like about it. The chubby stick however I love. I have nothing negative to say about this. It is great. I use it with my hands. I do not apply it on with a, it's very very hard to apply it on with a sponge. I think it is best applied with your hands and this has become my, wow, I think I'm halfway through. This has become my favorite foundation at the moment and I use it every day to go to work. So I literally just dot it all over my face and then rub it in with my hands and I'm done. It makes my makeup application so much faster in the mornings and I love it. My color in this is uh, Gargantuan Golden. It's written right there. Gargantuan Golden and it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, stick foundations. I'm not really much of a fan of stick foundations apart from the Bobbi Brown one. This is a new fan favorite. I love, love, love this and I definitely implore you to try it. This is around the 400 Rand mark, but it's a great one. And then the last thing is a Smashbox liquid lipstick. Now, I have been using this for maybe two months now. I got it a long time ago. I think if I was doing my, my makeup tidying my makeup collection, one of those vlogs, I spoke about these. I got this along. This happens to be, in terms of formula, my favorite liquid lipstick. That is a big statement for me to make because Anastasia name. But it is my favorite in terms of formula. That's what I've got on now. No stick, nothing whatsoever. And the nice thing about it, what I love the most, it fades very nicely. It doesn't go crusty and cracky. That's why these are expensive. These are like 300 and something a pop. They're very expensive, but they are nice on the lips. They are not sticky. I've got the brown one as well, which is uh, True Grit. This one, wow, there's something in my eye. This one is uh, Stepping Out. It's a nude. Love it. One of my favorites. And I thought that I should mention it. I have nothing negative to say about this. It is a firm fan fave. All right, and that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking washed out because the sun has decided to come out and play. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.